Hello, this is Patriot in the Dark. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing an update on our Kick Ash heat resistant barbecue gloves. So let's check it out. All right, to start, I'll describe what's on screen. In the top left corner is my Smith & Wesson 442 uh, snub nose revolver. It is in 38 Special. It is all black with rubber hoe grips. Just below that is my Patriot in the Dark logo patch. In the top right corner is a Gun Channels G patch. So in the center of the screen are the Kick Ash Basket uh, High Resistant Barbecue Gloves. I actually received these uh, several weeks ago from Chris over at Blind Grilling. I'll leave all his information in the description box below. Uh, make sure you check him out, it's really cool. So. I received these with some other items. Uh, I'll link to that video as well. But these gloves are cloth. Okay, so they're they're not uh, waterproof or anything. But basically, you can put them on and touch hot stuff. So I'm usually I wouldn't go for anything like this. I'm I'm a good griller, totally blind, and I like to grab stuff with my hands. But uh, you know, you get burned once in a while, and I kind of use different types of utensils um, being a blind guy so I had never really messed with any kind of glove now this glove um, I guess I can describe them I think they're supposed to be all black they come up maybe halfway up your forearm um, they are fingered gloves so they're not the mitten style so you actually have dexterity which is cool um, on the palms of the hands of each glove there is a, a I guess it's a flame pattern. It's kind of rubber so that uh, you have some grip, um, which are kind of cool. But like I said, I normally I wouldn't mess with gloves like this. It's just kind of a, something I would never buy for myself. But I, I felt obligated to try them. And ever since, I've used them every single time I've grilled. And that's been about uh, probably over 20 times in the last month. So uh, anyway, so when you put them on, they are... Uh, form fitting so that they fit nice and tight to your hands. They're not loose or baggy um, I guess they're one size fit all but they are from kick ash ASH Basket which they make a lot of different uh, accessories for barbecuing and, and things like that um, Their link will also be in the description But when I first started using these of course being a guy the first thing I did was you know get the barbecue going as high as I could and I put my hand right on the, the grates and didn't feel a thing. I mean, eventually it probably would <laughs> get hot, but uh, I, you know, I don't suggest you do that. I did it just so that you wouldn't have to. But the main thing on this is don't touch things that, that are wet or steamy because the, the material will get wet and the heat will go right straight through and burn you, just like a normal pot holder in the house. Um, and you don't, I actually have to use these uh, on just the grill. I use these in the oven too because with having, you know, this forearm protection, you can reach in and you won't nick the side of the, the oven, the top or the side or something like that. Um, the other really awesome thing about these being a glove versus a mitten, you can have the dexterity to grab a lid, you know, off a cast iron pot that's in your oven or something, you know, where you actually can grab and focus on something, which is... Uh, pretty outstanding because I normally with like the mittens I I mean I use them in the house because you have to but uh, Since I have these I've only used one at a time so that you know I can move stuff around But then I can use my my bare hand over top of the the grill to find out the hot spots And if I can move stuff around um, being totally blind it is uh, an adventure barbecuing So make sure you go check out blind grilling. He's uh, got videos he does a lot of really good descriptions and uh, describes on how he makes uh, different recipes and such. So if you're visually impaired, blind, or even one of those poor sighted guys, go check them out. There's some really good stuff like stuffed potatoes and brisket and all sorts of fancy stuff. But the other thing is he does have a 501c charity. Um, I will leave that in the description as well. Um, they basically find uh, blinded veterans or first responders and donate different equipment uh, to make their lives more accessible and more independent which 
If you've listened to any of my videos, independence and self-confidence is the biggest thing out there. So please check them out. Let them know I uh, sent you over there. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching and never fear the dark.